As U.S. equity markets are surging and the U.S. economy is recovering, many investors are wondering where the markets are heading. So today, let's take a look at market history and see if we can figure out where the markets are going. Stocks in the U.S. have rewarded patient and persistent investors over the last decade or so. If you've uh, kept your money in the markets, even through scary times, uh, investors have done very well. So on the one hand, uh, having a context for the market isn't all that important. It's about personal behavior. But as we think about the markets going forward from here, I do think having a sense of history and where we are makes some sense. Investing well requires a sense of history, context, and orientation. So where we sit today in the markets is determined by where we came from, and that might help us to decide where the markets are going in the future. So if markets were very strong in the past, they might be weaker in the, in the future. The other aspect about markets is uh, the, the relative sentiment of participants. Are they pessimistic or optimistic? And that orientation is important to understand as well. I'm a fan of soccer, and I'm getting lots of that this summer with the European Championships going on right now. But one of the things about sports that's really important is this idea of timing and space and orientation. Um, of course, if you're a good athlete, you also have personal prowess, you have technical skills yourself, but where you fit on the field or the court matters a whole lot. This spatial intelligence is an important part of being an excellent athlete. Similarly, investing requires a sense of timing and space. Where have the markets come from? Um, where do we sit today relative to people's sentiment? And what, what impact might that have on the future? So bringing it back to our current experience, the last 12 years have been excellent for investors, particularly in US stock markets. We, ex except for a couple of blips, pretty big one uh, last year, markets have been on a tear and just up and up and up. And so understanding where we came from is an important aspect of figuring out where we might be going. All of this matters because over the long run, U.S. equities, U.S. stocks, probably generate returns in the neighborhood of 7 to 8% per year. It could be a little higher or a little lower, but let's just use 7 to 8%. And uh, so if you have returns that are above that, that might cause you to, to worry about future returns and, and vice versa. So in our current context, over the last 12 years, U.S. equity markets have been up about 14% per year. So remember, we should expect returns in the 7 to 8% neighborhood, and we've gotten 14. Uh, that's been great. It's, it's good for investors. But it also begins to tell us that in the future, the next 10 or 12 years, let's say, we should expect lower returns. We don't know how much lower, but certainly lower than the 14% that we got. In sports, your orientation might be uh, where you're facing, what you're seeing, and, and how you're interacting with other players. In investing, I think of orientation as what are other investors thinking at the same time? Are they pessimistic generally? Are they optimistic generally? If they're optimistic, maybe they're paying more for stocks um, because they believe that the future is going to be even better. If they're pessimistic, they're paying less. They don't think that the future will look very bright. And so understanding the orientation of the other participants in the market is really important as well. My hunch is right now that investors are somewhat optimistic about the future. Over time, the value of stocks is tethered to the economic value of the companies that the stocks represent. Profits and dividends and those kinds of things matter. And over time, markets seem to get those things right. But over the short term, as we've talked about many times in the past, Sometimes investors can be too optimistic and sometimes too, too pessimistic. If investors were overly pessimistic in the past, you could expect higher returns in the future, this idea of re reversion to the mean. Um, vice versa, if investors have been too optimistic in the recent past, then future returns might be lower. Right now, I would say that investors generally are optimistic. They feel good about the economy recovering. They feel good about being able to do things that they haven't been able to do for the last year and a half. And all of this combines 
for me, to suggest that returns are likely to be lower over the coming decade than they have been over the past decade, which has been very strong for investors.